Okay, let's do a quick self-test. So I didn't show you how I'm making a list, but here on line 10, I'm printing my list, and this is what it looks like. So my list is the letters A through F. So now I'm printing out a bunch of things about my list. So I'm going to get the thing at location two. I'm gonna get the list's size. I make a variable called lock, and I print lock. I print what happens when I get lock. I print what happens when I get lock minus one. Here I'm adding two things together that I print, and here I'm also adding things together that I print. So what I want you to do is, for each one without running any code, uh, just look at the contents of the list here and predict what's going to get displayed by every single line. So pause the video, make your predictions, and then you can see the answers. Okay, so for this first one, uh, the trick is you have to remember that the locations start with zero. So getting two is not getting the second thing in the list, it's actually getting the third thing in the list. So this is going to display C. For size, size is displaying how many things are in the list. So in this case, it's, let's think, A, B, C, D, E, F, so that's six things. So that'll display six. Here I've got lock equals five, and so if I'm printing lock, uh, that just prints five, because see how I'm not saying anything about the list here? Lock is just a number. But if I use that number as the location I'm trying to get out of the list, now what we do is we look at location five. Let's count up. This is zero, one, two, three, four, five. So that's gonna give us F. Here I'm getting not the location inside the number lock, but the location inside lock minus one. So if lock was five, lock minus one is four, and so the string in location four is E. Here, it's a little bit tricky to figure out how to look at this. This is all one statement. I'm saying get out the thing at location five. Then right after that, I'm going to get out the thing at location six. But the problem is there is no location six because location five is already the largest thing that there can be. And so this is going to be an error. Um, specifically, it's gonna be an index out of bounds exception, which just means that your location is off the end of your, the array, or it's, it's a, not a valid location. Okay, what about this? This is gonna be the same thing. I'm going to get location, which is five, add it to location, which is another five, so that's 10. I'm going to add it to another, I'm going to add it to one. So this is the number 11. And so it's asking my list to give me the thing at location 11, but there is no location 11. So this is, an also, this is also an index out of bounds error.